books that say how to use it and then it sounds really stupid. I have so many hairs sticking to my face. I think it doesn't help that I'm like this close to my face at the minute. I look dead on this side. I'm so tired. Bear with. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. I look a little bit dishevelled and a bit weird but it is so hot in here that we're just going to deal with it. But today I thought I would test out a brand new foundation that I saw on Cult Beauty and I was like, I need it. It is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. So I tried the Ambient Lighting Powder, I've got the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the Vanish Stick. So I am obsessed with Hourglass, so I thought I would test this out for you guys. I'm going to do a full day wear test. It's currently 11 o'clock. I'm probably going to wear this for a good 10 to 12 hours, but I thought I'd put it to the test and we're going to see how it wears, what it looks like on my skin, what the coverage is like, and whether it's actually worth the money, and whether I think you should go and buy it. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation and how it wears on my skin, then just keep on watching. Always Hourglass push it out the bag with the packaging. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna bring up what it says online. I have already prepped my skin with my Toucher Silk Cream Canvas and my REM Under Eye Blurring Primer. And we're gonna see how it looks on my skin. So this is what it's looking like so far. Quite spotty, my skin is going through some things at the minute. I got this in the shade five. That is what I got matched with on their website. So the description of this is, think it's about blooming time you invested in a new base routine. Unlock light diffusing radiance with the ambient soft glow foundation and with 32 skin enhancing shades suitable for every tone and texture. What's not to love? Gliding and blending across your skin with an undetectable finish. Thanks to its blurring spheres, this transfer proof formula conceals your imperfections, ensuring that you look your best in every angle under any light. Delivering a medium yet buildable coverage, this soft focus foundation sits weightlessly on your skin and marries well with your liquid cream and powder products for the ultimate base. What's more, smooth out the appearance of fine lines while minimizing crater like pores and enjoy all day wear that's totally resistant to sweat, water and humidity. Enhancing your lip from within glow with a better than skin luminosity available in 32 shades. This is definitely the foundation of the moment and it has your name on it. Okay, so this is just one la layer of that foundation. I've only done half my face, but look how like skin-like it looks, but it's really evened out everything. Like look how <laughs> different. Yes, the colors are quite different, but it matches my neck really nicely. I look dead on this side. I'm so tired, but it just brings so much life to my face on this side. Guys, look at that. And it's covered the redness quite well. I am gonna go in with one more layer and we're just gonna see whether it is buildable, like it says in the description. I'm just gonna put it on the parts where I really need that extra coverage, which is mostly on my cheek and chin area. My forehead usually is like okay with just one single layer. It also said it's sweat resistant, which I will definitely be testing today because it's meant to get to 33 degrees. We are going through another heat wave at the minute, so I will put this to the test and we will see whether it's actually as good as it says it is or claims to be on the website. See how it's just got rid of that redness? That coverage is so nice. Guys, that is beautiful. I just realized I haven't done my eyebrows, but it's fine. We'll do my eyebrows afterwards. Like that is so gorgeous. No foundation, just prepped foundation. Why can't my skin look like this all the time? That's incredible. So I'm going to quickly go and do the other side and I'll be back. We do my eyebrows as well and then we'll try layering on some new products onto this. Okay so I've just done the other side of my face and my eyebrows. This is how it's looking like so far. I will say it kind of drying around this area and sort of clinging a little bit but I'm going to try and apply like the rest of my cream products. And we're gonna see how they layer up on this foundation and whether it looks all right. So I'm gonna go in my cream bronzer as always. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. I think it doesn't help that I'm like this close to my face at the minute. I have so many hairs sticking 
to my face. Does anyone else get that? It doesn't matter what I do with my hair, it just ends up sticking to everything. Okay, that's layering up very nicely. No issues there whatsoever. That's gone on so nicely. I really like the finish of this foundation. So now I'm gonna go in with my cream blush. And I'm gonna use my NARS one. This is in the shade Freedom. And I just use the same brush for this. Everything is just layering onto this foundation really nicely. I haven't had any issues so far. Obviously we haven't set it, so I don't know whether that's gonna cause any issues. I will say it's a little bit like sticky, like when I use my sponge I can feel it sticking to the foundation, so I will say that. But what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go under my eyes with my NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Chantilly, Chantilly, Chantilly. And I'm going to use a small foundation brush for this. I'm going to put some here. In the usual places that I would conceal. It's gonna be a real test for this foundation today. It's so hot. I'm loving how this looks. It doesn't look too heavy on my skin either. It looks so natural. I still look like I'm wearing foundation, but it just looks like so smooth. I'm obsessed with this. Now I have actually got a new powder to try. This is again Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I've wanted to try this for ages and I finally sort of plucked up the courage to try it for this video. I'm gonna use my powder puff, which really needs a clean. So this has got like a little dome on it. I don't quite know how this works. Does it say how to use it? I know it sounds really stupid. Use a veil powder brush, pick up a small amount of setting powder on top of excess. It doesn't tell you how to get your powder out, so I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, okay. So it kind of sits in here. Ooh. Tell me why that looks so nice. This is gorgeous. Oh my word. I'm obsessed so far. But I'm gonna quickly go off camera and just finish off my makeup and I'll be back to show you the completed look and we can look at the skin and then I'll go about my day. Okay, so this is my completed look. I am obsessed with this foundation so far. I think it is incredible. But like I said, I'm gonna wear it throughout the rest of the day. We're gonna see how it wears. This is currently how it looks. It is currently 12 o'clock, so it's midday. It's what we're looking like. Everything is layered on so, so nicely. It's set down to a nice sort of demi-matte finish. I think it looks so, so, so pretty, but we're gonna see, like I say, how it wears. And then I'll do my final review tonight, probably in about 11, 10, 11 hours, and we'll see how it's worn. Okay, so I am back. It's now the end of the day, but I have a slight disclaimer. It's the end of the next day because I forgot to film last night. So I reapplied the makeup this morning. I've had it on now for nine hours. So about, an, no, 10 hours. About the average day you usually wear a foundation. And this is how my skin is looking. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So as you can see, nothing has come off these spots. I haven't got any makeup breaking up it has also been 34 degrees today I've been out and about and I've just been out for a walk with Callum and this makeup has not budged one bit it still looks the same as it did when I applied it this morning even like my bronzer blush everything hasn't come off because the underneath product has really grabbed hold of that product on top. So I do have some pros and cons of this foundation. So I think this foundation is perfect for oily skin. I have oily combination skin, mostly leaning towards oily. And as you can see, it hasn't broken up on my forehead or in my T-zone. I haven't applied any more powder. Pinky promise today. This is exactly how it looked when I applied it this morning. Obviously it has sort of sunk into these lines a little bit, but that's gonna happen with any product. It hasn't sunk in as much as some of my other ones, but it hasn't broken up anywhere. I do think this is a little bit too dry for dry skin. So if you do have dry skin, this may not be the foundation for you. It does apply quite thick and quite dry, but I really like that because as I say, I've got oily skin. So if you've got combination to dry skin, I would say maybe don't 
buy this foundation. I feel like Hourglass's foundation, they are amazing, but they do cling to dry patches if you have them on your skin. Not really badly, because as I say, I've got combination skin, but it does cling a little bit. It does feel weightless. I have not felt it on my skin at all today. It doesn't feel crusty, it doesn't feel heavy, and that's what I really like about this foundation. I haven't felt like I'm being suffocated by anything. I haven't felt like I've got a layer of something on my skin. It also layers really, really nicely. It does say online that it's a medium to buildable coverage, and I would say that buildable is absolutely correct. It layers so nicely, and as I say, it doesn't look cakey on your skin when you layer it. I have got two layers on again today, like I did yesterday when I applied it in the video. I've got the same amount on today because of my redness on my cheeks and my chin. If you're looking for something that's a bit more dewy, because I know it's very much in at the minute, is a dewy foundation, this is probably not the foundation for you. It doesn't say it's a soft glow foundation and it does have that soft glow, but it is more leaning towards the matte foundation, which I know a lot of people try to avoid at the minute, but I really like a matte foundation, I always have. I just think it looks nicer on my skin than the Dewy foundation. I've tried so many Dewy foundations and I keep thinking I found the one for me, but I always go back to a demi matte foundation and I think it looks gorgeous. And the color match, there are 32 shades of this foundation and this matte is absolutely perfect for me. So I'm gonna show you the shade range here. This is the shade range of this foundation. I think this is incredible and I'm sure you'll find a foundation shade for you. Like I said, I got matched on the Hourglass website there. Color matching is absolutely spot on, as I say. This is color matched on their website. I have never had a match this good online. But yeah, they are my final thoughts for this foundation. So I'm gonna do pros and cons here for you guys. So this is how it's looking, but these are the pros and cons of this foundation. So you can look and just evaluate for yourself. I will also link the pros and cons down below so you guys can sort of think for yourself as to whether you want to buy this foundation. It is quite an expensive foundation, but I think for what it is, considering I didn't actually use that much, I think I used four pumps, but that's for a double layer. So if you only use one layer and you're using two pumps this foundation, I think this is really, really nice. It's very sleek, small to travel with as well. It's not like a big bulky bottle and just so, so nice. And like I say, the color match is perfect. So guys, at the end of today's video, I had so much fun filming this for you guys. And I hope you like the new style of me doing these videos. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you think of this foundation, whether you're gonna go out and try it and whether there are any other foundations you want to see me use or test out on my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, if there are any other products you want to see me test, anything at all, whether it's makeup, skincare, lifestyle, anything, let me know, I'll definitely do it for you guys. If you haven't already, subscribed to my channel down below. I would love you to join my family and be notified of when I upload, which will be on a Monday, Wednesday, or a Friday at 7 p.m. So if you want to be notified, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.